Hello my most radical squad members, Napkins here, and welcome back to Game of Thrones, the Telltale game. So, um, I am just coming right off the last episode. I'm just- we're just jumping right into episode four. Let's just do it. Let's just do it! Yeah. Um, so, obviously last episode was a little bit of a shit show, mostly because I was forgetting what things were. Um, because I took so long to jump back into it, it's my own fault. But it's okay, um, we will just regret our decisions as the game continues. Previously so, on Game of Thrones. Let's get all previously on. Let's get all previously on. My father is planning to Girl. make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans. I forgot about because that. Because you have a traitor in your council. I He's forgot been about that. A great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were Whoops. told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's, That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. Oh, not so much. It's, uh, I've heard it's stories, real. old tales of a secret forest. And this guy's a wildling forest. now. That Your we Lord found out. Knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. Almost accidentally revealed My that true secret. Name is Sarah. And then this girl was a bastard. A I bastard. remember that. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. I have to remember to keep that under wraps as much as possible. You're not still married. I I lost my engagement family. with this girl because I sucked at talking to her. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. And the worst part is I found out later I could have kept that betrothal. Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. It was alive. Malcolm! Are you gonna be a good little forester? Learn your lesson and stay down. Good thing they did this, because I would have forgotten like you can be half Lord this Roderick. stuff, even though I just played. So long as some we all this. know who holds the reins here. <laughs> the forest is brain's still a little bit there. fried from being feverish and sick. Walk. Kill him. Fevers kill brain cells. Trouble. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Pretty much possible. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him. So this first. situation didn't pan like out how I thought. Pig. I thought he would live if I left him. And instead it looks like I killed him. And did not realize it. Yeah. That was my bad. I thought I'd killed it. I thought I'd left him alive on the side. For some reason, I just didn't realize he was dead. And if I'd kicked him off the side, it would've looked more like an accident. Um, but now it just looks like I killed him. Um, so, yeah. That's a thing I'm gonna have to deal with. Oops. Just, he's just super dead. Sir, you're looking a little pale. You should try and get out and have a little more sunlight if you can. At least I tried to talk him out of fighting. That might come back to help me. Garrett Tuttle. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Oh. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and and we fought and So you struck him down and left him to die. You tried to lie about what you did to get here. But we both know you had blood on your hands. But now you've killed one of your brothers. How is You'll that fair? Your head for this, Tuttle. How is that fair? You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not I, brother killers. He was gonna there's kill me. There's only one thing to be done with you now. We not gonna hey, talk about that? He was a wannabe I saw brother what killer. Did to Brit last night. He tried to spare him. Say I that. Was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. Yeah, yeah, he was there. He was there. 
Then go on. What did you see? Come on, boy? I'm really hoping he comes through right now. Come on, brother. Come on. Garrett's telling the truth. We <gasps> attacked him. That paid Just off. Like he said. That paid Garrett off no so good. That was there a gamble I just made. Sell his own mother for the right price. Ooh. You mm. two are up to something. No, he's telling the truth. <laughs> Some I promise. deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for for some reason I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think. I can't think. watch a man die and just... <laughs> I decide what justice is. Ah, just... Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Okay. Let's go. I understand that. But I what about the whole thing to that make you he was ranger. trying to kill me? And stuff. And I was just What's defending myself. And this man Ran killed my father, have to my find family. Someone else for your Duh. expedition. Uh, your man here still has a lot uh, to answer for. Now nothing? out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. I like this guy. I like Jon Snow. Then kiss him quick and be done. I was about with to it. say something. Garrett. Um, I haven't watched Game of Thrones me, the last season, like at all, but I heard that uh, I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crestus. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrett. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Crestus. How is this? Any different. It's a little different. It's just a little, with you, a little bit different. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. Okay, stop listening for half a second you're if you're your not caught up on Game want, of Thrones. Boy. But I it's heard that Jon Snow died say. in the season finale of the last episode or something. But a lot of people are saying he's not really dead. And so I was like, I'm like wondering what's up with that. But I'm not caught up on the show, so I'm like, I, I don't know. But I, I, I don't doubt it. So skipping, skipping. See you in a sec. Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage. Okay, we're back. Um, so I'll make sure that I put a little like. Oh, Sons of Winter is the name of the episode. Um, good name. Um. I'll make sure to put a little, like, Game of Thrones spoilers thing up on the screen when I'm talking about that so you guys know when to start listening again. But, um, yeah, I just had to get that out there. Because I wasn't, I, like I said, n I have not watched anything from the recent season at all. And I think there's another season coming out soon. Because Peter Dinklage was on Saturday Night Live last night. Actually, if you watched that, then you got spoiled just like I did. You know so there you go. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? I tell no lies. Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. I tell no lies to lies, my Khaleesi. Every one of them. I am not a liar. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not Daenerys so noticed that. Bought. Oh shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Yeah, we're scared because the last one attacked us. The little fucker. Your reaction Drogon? says otherwise. Viseron. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asha. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> yeah. I don't when think both my it. advisors are Believe telling me to keep your distance, you claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe. I like you. her scales on her necklace. I told nice. you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. I have this. 
Rogel. How did you get that? What have you done to him? I've done if nothing! You hurt him. Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. Yeah, that's what happened. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Okay, listen, lady. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, Selsor. Calm down. I forgot her name, but calm down, girl. Why did you come? I'm really here? bad with remembering names, actually. You offer me it's, nothing it's but lies. Something you guys might have noticed by now. To what end? You want gold? A title? No. My undying gratitude. I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. No. My family is depending on me. I have to find an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also please. came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters. I remember that part. From their I misery. saw that part of the, My of the cell show. My swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne. That's what I want to. If you really believe that. Sure, that's exactly what I, I believe. I cannot help you. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself... Sure. You have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. <laughs> That's but it. Your Grace. See them out. We're not just cell swords. We're the best damn cell swords in Slaver's Bay. <laughs> I know a few who might disagree with you. His boasting aside, they were two of my best fighters. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She can help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> what the hell? Yes. Oh yeah, she has a history here. I lived in We Marine don't know what's up with that yet. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. Maybe that works. So you wish to accompany them? That you might have help worked the then. second sons. Guide them into Marine. Yes. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. We have to. Listen. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. Sounds good, girl. I believe that's more than fair. Sounds you good, bro. Join Croft and his men. Okay. Get them into Lara the Croft and her men. Help them liberate Marine. We'll free the and slaves with Lara Croft. It'll be wonderful. But your uncle stays here. I guess. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. I'm in it now. Gotta just go through with it. We got this. We're going on an adventure with Lara Croft, bro. It'll be super fun. What the fuck happened back there? A lot of things we that really I didn't going understand. Into Marine? What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Um, it does actually. It actually matters a lot because it's probably going to bite me them. in the ass. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. She could have said no. Long time since we had a Just saying. She could have said she didn't want to go to Marine. Years Been like, fuck you, I'm out. But no, now. she stuck around. Don't fuck so obviously she me, likes Asher. me enough to deal with whatever problem she has with this place. Nail. Yeah, I don't feel too guilty. Too nail. His name is Nail. Because he's the nail in my coffin. I hope I didn't just foreshadow something. <laughs> 
on accident. I do that a lot. I'll make jokes like while I'm watching TV with my mom. I'll be like, oh, that guy looks like the guy who's gonna stab the main character in the face later. And then she'll get pissed at me because it'll actually happen and I'll be like, I'm sorry and didn't know. It was just a really good guess. I like predicted the end to an entire show. I can't remember what show it was now. Because I do it so like without thinking. I predicted the end to an entire show that my mom and I were watching like way in the first season. And she was so mad at me. She's like, did you look it up? I was like, no, I swear. It's just messing around when I said that. It was great. Um, but it happens a lot. You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. You can't handle. I'm so glad like that I made this guy my second. So hand, find another actually. advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Do something like spontaneous. What? I'll show you. Keeps the relationship alive. Come at me. Okay. Oh. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, I drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. I hit the wrong button. I made a mistake. Let's try it again. I'm sorry. Let's try that again, please. Almost. I hit it that time. Again. You. Nailed it! Third time's the charm. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> Damn you straight. Me. Oh. <sighs> okay, he stayed standing that time. Sorry to interrupt. Good for him. Elena. Strong, independent she man who don't need no walking stick. Um, what, do you want Lady the marriage Elena. back on? Because it's too late, girl. You already broke my heart. There's no fixing Talia. this. There's no band-aid big enough to fix this hole that you left Roderick. right here. Can I speak with you? Privately. Who's this Legolas in the background, by the way? He doesn't have the hair. You remember my little brother? He's the rest, though. Quiver! Oh, his brother. Good gods, you've grown. His name is Quiver? Did you his parents name him now. that, knowing that he would become an archer one day? Unannounced. What's this bullshit? What is I didn't know what else this to is... do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. This is like some cinema sin sinning bullshit, okay? Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? That's gross. Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. That's rude. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick. Then you have to defy your father. I intend to. Good. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting No, prick? I know you don't. But my father won't listen. Okay. So let's get married I'm not right be now. The bone they throw that right now, dog. let's get married. I'm not gonna be some prize Fix the whole to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. What is this? These better be him. Okay, these are their men. I'm guessing. You brought your men. Okay. I command fathers. I got a little guard. bit scared for a second these there. Men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and Again, close they combat. named him Quiver as if they they're knew yours. that this would be what he'd do with his life. If you'll help us take down Griff. I will guard. totally take down Griff. Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? 
Chris what? has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. I still have Ryan. I do still have, a reason. have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I no, we were supposed to be married, mad, which makes me think you actually like way. me and my family. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, True. promise me you'll do this. Oh, God. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I'll do it, if it really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. Thank you, Roderick. I knew you'd come through for us. My men are yours to command. There was Thank an awkward you, little Arthur. transition between Could animations there. For a second. Whoops. I can't tell if she's using me or if she actually you don't know how much still this loves means to me. me. I'm guessing she I'm still loves me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. But Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. But we're not children anymore. No. I suppose we're not. I'm gonna say farewell. We should go. Yes. <laughs> You're right. Arthur will be waiting for us. I I'm just like, I'm still suspicious of like a lot of people. And this was very spontaneous and convenient. So I'm not sure if I really trust everything that just happened right now. I said yes. So I can have the army at my disposal. But I need to be sure that she's not using me for something. For like any reason. That would suck. So. And we're on to the fourth forest. Fourth forest. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Because it's Asher. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe that was the imp's plan. Shut up. I wonder oh. if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. <laughs> not to I mention put Cersei it and Jamie. Oh, shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. Like me, I'm spying right now. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud White Hill. Lord Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. Oh. He's definitely a spy. up to something. Something big. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. I don't want this kid to the die. The only people I'm even I'm certain really he deals scared. with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy. Yeah, with I me pissed right Marjorie now. off. That's right. I I've mean, been an oopsie in that. Couldn't Sarah help? I was going to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, if you need Sarah to get you in there, you might as well try, right? Uh, I have pissed a lot of people off it's in uh, King's Landing. Just um, be careful, Lady Mira. Yeah. King's go, Landing go team. Seems to have it in for you. I'm doing a great job. Yeah, King's Landing does have it in for me. I'm gonna get everybody killed in this game. It's gonna be great. Good shit. I like that everything freezes when it's between scenes. It's good. It's a good thing. Stop it right there. Okay, so. Uh... We have gotten a little bit more into the story. I'm remembering how much I have fucked up. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. And once again, please judge me for all my choices. I love to hear what you guys have to say. That was a hiccup, so. Bye! In there! <gasps> <gasps> oh, 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 <laughs> one of these doors is one of these places I get you. <laughs> And finally, an Enderman love song.